All right, now what we need to do is we need to hook up the electric to our master cylinder on the brakes. Now, there are a lot of different reasons why you need electricity going to your brakes. First of all, if you ever heard of anti-lock brakes, what they are is pretty much brakes, it pretty much resembles pumping your brake like a thousand times faster than your foot, kind of like boom, 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 boom. And whenever you do this, then what it does is it helps to prevent skidding and stuff. So whenever you have anti-lock brakes, you need electric because there's a solenoid in your brakes. And what it does is it releases that brake or hydraulic brake fluid in short little bursts. Now, if you were working on your car, then you probably need to know that. But aside from that, a lot of brakes also have these things called pressure regulators. And what pressure regulators do is they pretty much make sure that each of the brake pads that the cylinder is hooked up to is receiving the same amount of pressure because of course when you have the same cylinder controlling your front right and front left you don't want you know the front right to receive more pressure or else you're going to veer to the right when you brake. Aside from that if you're working on a huge vehicle like a uh, truck or something or a car I guess they have power brakes and what a power brake does is whenever you're pressing the brake itself it pretty much just amplifies this pressure and it pretty much takes whatever pressure you're doing, amplifies it, and then it increases the amount of power going to the brakes. But this thing right here, what we're about to hook up, all this is is a little brake indicator, which basically is a sensor that waits for you to press the brake and once it does, it's going to kick off a sensor and pretty much complete the circuit and then if you, whenever we installed, installed the roll bar, you can see that there are little lights on the top. Pretty much whenever you hit your brakes and the brake lights come on, that's what this is right here. Now with that being said, that was all the information and I got a little bit of a dilemma right here. Usually they have on the cylinder right here, symbols that'll tell you which one of these wires go where. So I looked at it and I noticed that these, you probably can't see it on YouTube, but the symbols are actually in Chinese. So I don't know which one goes where to be completely honest. So I guess what I have to do is pretty much just screw these in randomly, unless I want to learn Chinese or something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw these in randomly. Hey, I got a 50-50 shot at this. And I'll just have to remember this whenever uh, the buggy's complete, that if my brake lights turn on, then it means I guessed right. And if they aren't turning on, then I guess I have to reverse them. And whenever you're troubleshooting, you have to remember that as well. Common mistake. So now, go ahead and tighten them. Just like that. And now, this little pressure-sensitive electric switch in here can now recognize whenever you're putting pressure on the brakes, and it says, okay, aside from, you know, moving the fluid through the brake lines, it says, okay, now I'm going to kick off that light in the back, and brake lights complete. 